Today in this video I'm going to show you your hard drive is GPT or MBR partition style. So, how to check your hard drive which style partition GPT or MBR on Windows PC. Modern versions of Windows and other operating systems can use either the older master boot record, MBR, or newer GID partition table, GPT, for their partition schemes. These are different ways to save partition tables on the drive. GPT is more modern and is required to boot Windows systems in UEFI mode. MBR is required to boot older Windows systems in BIOS mode, although the 64-bit version of Windows 7 can also boot in UEFI mode, so how to check which partition table your disk is using, you have two options, you can use Windows graphical disk management tool, or you can use the command line, so without wasting time let's start it, first you go to manage by right clicking on the computer, then click on disk management, right click the basic disk 0 or disk 1, not the partition, and select the properties, option, thereafter click the volumes tab, Check the partition style field, which will tell you if the hard drive is formatted. Using the master boot record, MBR, or GID partition table, GPT, style. Once you completed the steps, you'll know which partition style the disk is using. You can also use command prompt to check if the drive is using GPT or MBR using these steps. First open start then search for CMD, right click the top result, and select the run as administrator option. Type the following commands to determine the drive partition scheme. Type disk pert and hit enter. Thereafter type list disk and hit enter. You'll see a table listing your connected disks. If a disk is GPT, it will have an asterisk, that's a star character, under the GPT column. If it's an MBR disk, it will be blank under the GPT column. For example, disk 0 and disk 1 are both GPT disks, while disk 2 is an MBR disk. After completing the steps, you'll know which partition style the disk is using. If you liked the video, please share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.